Of this match. Yeah, at least we know that uh, Johnny Storm is going to handle the pressure very well. He's, he's been to the big dance before, and you know, much like we're going to talk about probably through this show about how Dragon Gate represents the state of the art of professional wrestling in 2009. Johnny Storm, for many years, represented the state of the art of British professional wrestling. Absolutely. And now here come their opponents, two of the most dastardly men to be found in Dragon Gate. And I've got to say, Stu Allen, two men I admire greatly. Real Hazard, Rio Saito, and Genki Horiguchi. And here they come, Horiguchi in the front, Saito bringing up the rear. Two of the most awesome haircuts in wrestling. Two of the greatest minds in Dragon Game. Well, both of these men over the last few years have undergone major transitions in their career. Genki Horikuchi started years ago as a surfer dude. He was a happy-go-lucky baby-faced fan favorite. He was anything but that man. And his tag team partner like Rio Saito. Well, he used to be one of the most beloved wrestlers in Dragon Gate. He, well, he's turned his back on the fans. He's turned his back on the business. He is the leader of this real hazard group. This group of, uh, to use the term for Mucha Libre, this group of Rudos. And immediately the chant of H-A-G-E starts up across the regal. Stu, I'll, I'll leave it to you to explain what that's all about. Well, H-A-G-E has been a chant around Japan for a long time. It's actually Japanese for bold. And it's, uh, it's meant to antagonize Genki Horiguchi, which it always does. It started when you started to have some receding hair. I've like, got very little hair, but uh, he's, still, he's still very particular about what he's got left. Very little hair, apart from the most awesome red kind of mullet ponytail thing. Essence got a warm reception. Harlow and Essex, Johnny Storm. Cambridge naturally gets a boo in Oxford. Any of our international viewers watching, there is a famed rivalry between Oxford and Cambridge Universities. They have rugby matches, they have cricket matches, and they have some kind of boat race thing going on. They've been doing for a few years. Horiguchi, also not the most popular man here in Oxford tonight. Rio Saito, the heaviest man in this match, with uh, a warm welcome for the uh, fans here. And while we're talking about haircuts, let's not uh, forget about a pretty uh, funky dude 
being sported by Mr. Skull. It's not quite in the same Hall of Fame level as uh, Genki Horikuchi or Rio Saito, but you can certainly see how he could grow into it. Eventually. It's a start. It's a start. start. Everyone's you know. got to start somewhere. Absolutely. Here okay. we go. Bell goes. We're starting with Marty Skull in the ring against Genki Horikuchi. Big difference in experience, as we talked about. Genki Horikuchi, 31 years of age. Nice reversal from Marty Skull. Well, we're starting off scientifically. I wonder if we'll end that way. I somehow think not. I hate. And Skull back to the advantage. This, this oh! style. Oh, he just cracked his fingers. He broken a finger there. I was going to say, this style is basically playing right into the Brit's hand. This is the style that Marty Skull was educated on. As you can tell by the reversal after reversal from Skull. Excellent start. And I've got to say, my question's about whether the nerves would get the better of this young man on such a big occasion. So far, it seems to be unfounded. Doing very well for himself, Marty Skull. And he should be proud of himself so far. There's a Maestral Cradle attempt. First pinfall attempt of the match. So of course way too early to get a pin, but full attempt at it. He's just going to mark Genki Horiguchi's cards. Let him know that he's there and he's here to win the match. Knuckle lock test of strength. Nicely out of it from Skull takes Horiguchi down to the ground. Girl. All tied up. Oh, oh, now he's got the hair. Oh. A hair ringer. I think it is. That's two turns. That's really admonishing for his girl. That's, uh, I mean, he's going to look for airports with that hair. But he may not if Marty Skull rips it out. <laughs> that, that, yes. And now with the HAG. Jump starts up yet again. Some words of comfort. Oh! Genki for a moment looked upset and spat right in the face of one of the ringsiders. We were talking earlier about the hazards of being a ringsider. It's a real hazard, all right, when these guys are wrestling. Oh. Head scissors from Skull. Nicely, yeah. Uh, oh! Back to the hair. Oh, well, there's very little that Horiguchi can do. Did he just knee drop the hair, Dean? Stu, he just knee dropped the hair. Well, it only got a two count. He's back to the side headlock. Now, when you said about revolutionary moves to be seen in Dragon Gate, I guess you weren't thinking of a, a hair ringer and a hair knee drop. Not immediately, no. no I, I didn't think so. Oh, nicely done by Skull. And nicely reversed, nicely blocked by Horiguchi. Snapmare. Horiguchi tried to fight it off, but Skull won it over in the end. What's he doing here? I think he tried to cover up once, tries again. Oh! Skull waiting for him, and the tag is made, and Johnny Storm comes in. And I'd imagine with Horibuchi to the outside, that means that Rio Saito can make an appearance. Yes, indeed, Lucha Libre style rules here. Just got to make your way to the outside of the ring. Your partner can come in. Rio Saito in the ring. Here's a man again. We talked about the uh, changes that these men have overgone in the last few years. You'll remember doing the uh, King of Europe Cup a couple of years ago. Rio Saito represented Dragon Gate so well in that competition. Well, yeah, I was going to say, this obviously uh, isn't the, the first appearance in the UK for Rio Saito. He was over a couple of years ago before that tournament where he fought Johnny Storm's sometimes tag partner and sometimes bitter rival, Jody Fleisch. Yes, indeed, but this man bears very little resemblance, at least I mean, from the hairstyle and the entire attitude 
to that humble man who was here representing Dragon Gate a couple of years ago. Has he benefited, benefited from it? Well, I think he has. I mean, that's the thing. He's, he's uh, decided to turn his back on the fans, turn his back on his friends, join up with his real hazard group, and he's become the leader of the group very quickly. Which just goes to show you don't need the fans. I've said it all along, Stuart Allen. Well, real sight, it was not going to find many fans here in Oxford tonight. Hurricane Rana from the storm and out of the ring goes Saito. Horiguchi tried to take advantage by quickly diving in, but Johnny Storm sent him packing to the outside. And I think a dive. Here we go. And Johnny Storm takes both members of Real Hazard out. As he did as our first big dive of the evening. Johnny Storm wiping out both members and then deposits Genki Horikuchi back into the ring. Big opportunity here for a double team from Team UK. Oh, big drop kick by Storm. Horikuchi had nowhere to go. Here it comes. <laughs> Tremendous. The charging slap. That's what we're going to call that one. We just got a two count. Woo! I'd be worried for that three count. Woo! I think it's safe to say Marty Squirrel is enjoying himself. I think so. And that's kind of a bigger four arm lock, I guess. Very unique submission offense. And Rio Saito, uh, sorry, Genki Horiguchi has no way of protecting himself from the drop kick that comes in from Johnny Storm's view. There's another two count there, does the referee. Yeah. Mitch Yanoku driver and another quick tag. And this is good teamwork from, from two people who haven't been teamed up much before. No, it's good tag team continuity. Far better, actually, than we've seen from Real Hazard so far. Uh, an old-fashioned rake to the eyes. Gets uh, Marty Skull over to the Real Hazard corner. And a chop from Saito. Make that two. And now we see the classic tag team strategy of getting one opponent isolated in your corner. Storm doesn't look impressed, does he? No, he's being smart. He's staying outside the ring. Not distracting the referee. Saito with the back elbow there. Oh, look at that cover. Why is Horiguchi in there? Now, who's the legal man? At the minute, I don't know. Um, but the referee's aligned it, so we really need to know. Oh, and look at that. Oh, beautiful. He just kicked the, the middle rope right into the groin of Johnny Storm. And that's going to take Storm out for a while while Horiguchi works over Marty Skull with a variation of the Indian Deathlock and a boot to the face. They have three of them. Great teamwork from Real Hazard. Well, great teamwork right underneath the referee's nose as well. Referee's finally, well, I'd say the referee finally got Real Saito out of the ring, but we've got more double team from Real Hazard. Oh! oh double stop! And. Marty Skull's reaction says more than we could ever say. Now, sometimes a picture says a thousand words, that's one of them. There's a cover, referee. Just gets a two. That is pretty much literally going to take the wind right out of Marty Skull's view. Yeah, but it's still a lackadaisical cover from Rio. Said he didn't want to hook the leg. Oh, he hooks the leg, still only gets a two counts. Well, I think they still want to show off uh, some more moves to these UK fans. That's why they're not uh, making a, a, that serious a cover. When you talked about the eye rip before, straight back to the eyes. And Skull trying to fight off Saito, but... A drop kick to the inside of the thigh. Just trying to knot up that leg. 
and really restrict the mobility of Marty Skull. And a, I do believe it's the inside of the thigh rather than the knee that they're working on here. We'll, we'll see as this match progresses because they've now found a body part to target. It's the biggest muscle, isn't it? The, in the body, the thigh muscle. Indeed it is. And this, this strategy reminiscent of the great Anderson Brothers tag team picking out a body part, picking out an individual, keeping an isolated in one corner and just going to town. So again, as soon as Skrull came back with a little bit of fire, I think he went right for that drop kick. Watch out, Rio Saito has his, uh, his whip in the ring. Choking him. Skrull out with the whip, with the referee distracted by Horiguchi. Brilliant strategy. Brilliant planning from Rio Hazard. You know, you've got to tip your hat to them here. Yes, I, I, yeah, you do. It's not exactly, uh, exactly legal, but it's effective. Apologize for uh, comments of Genki Horiguchi there. And outside the ring, and even further away from his corner now goes Marty Skull. Oh, suplex to the floor, and you just heard the thud. There's no give on that floor. That's as hard as, as ice. And just as cold. To cover from Horiguchi. Saito was trying to run interference there. You'll see that a lot in tag team matches. It's a big part of Japanese tag team strategy. Oh, oh miscommunication there. And a back suplex from Skull. He really now needs to get over to his corner and tag in Johnny Storm. This crowd, partisan crowd, urging him on. Is he going to make it? Yes, he is. Johnny Storm comes in. Springboards into another Hurricane Run and takes Saito down. Rio, Rio Saito in trouble. Genki Horiguchi not. And now he's back on his feet. Blindsiding Johnny Storm. Dive on the outside from Skrull onto uh, Saito. No hands tope there from Skrull. Oh, Storm was going for a wheelbarrow. He does. He connects with that DDT in the end. Just the two count, though. This one's picking up, Stu. Yes, it is. Now Johnny Storm calling for the support of the fans. He gets it. But he took too long to get to Horiguchi, who counted with a fantastic tornado DDT. Doesn't even let Storm have a moment to breathe. Drops him straight down with a brain buster. Is that it? No, Skull makes a save, and if he hadn't, I think that could have been all over for Team UK. A vertical drop, brain buster there. Now Skull and Saito in the ring. Nice! Twisting. Double arm suplex from Skull. Just a two count, though. Marty Skull going to the top rope. Rio in a very compromised position. Oh! He may have been going for a senton, but absolutely nothing of it. Either a senton or a kind of a tuck leg drop, but high risk maneuver, and it didn't pay off this time. Oh! Johnny Storm gets German suplex straight into his partner, and it looks like a car wreck in the corner there. And this is where Real Hazard have to take the opportunity to put him away. Oh, and they will. Splash from Saito. Just a two count, though. And they will definitely concentrate on taking Skirl out. Double team because Johnny Storm was. Well, say Johnny Storm's out, but now he's back on his feet. Double perfect storm from Johnny Storm. Wipes both men out. I think referee Lloyd Parker's lost track of who the legal man is, if I'm honest, so am I. I don't think it matters anymore. We've got four men in the ring who desperately need to win this match. Yeah. <laughs> Scroll rolling through. Oh, beautiful. Takes the opportunity to drop the neck breaker. Hooks the leg. And you notice now that 
each wrestler is becoming more and more reliant on his partner saving him than him kicking out. That shows, you know, they're obviously getting worn down. I think, you know, we are we are drawing to an end in this match because all four wrestlers really had a lot taken out of them now. Rewind Hurricane Rana from Johnny Storm. Horiguchi very wisely scoots outside the ring. Oh, Skrull with a double drop kick takes out both guys. We call it the 7 10 split. Oh. DDT! DDT from a tope as well from Johnny Storm. Now in the ring, here we go. Marty Skrull's big opportunity against Rio Saito. Three big kicks from Skrull and another eye rake from uh, Saito. Finally, the clothesline from Marty Skrull. Here's the cover. Ooh, that was the closest pinfall we've had so far. Saito looked absolutely spent, but finds something to kick out right at the end. A little whist up there's a reversal, and again. Oh! oh he distracted the oh. referee. Two low blows. One, two, three, and it's all over. Real Hazard win the match. A oh, highway robbery. And Saito looks very pleased with himself. You see the finish there, the small package pin. Well, that doesn't tell the whole story. There was a story there of two low blows, undetected by the referee, who was distracted by what was going on on the outside of the ring. Saito taking that momentary opportunity to deliver what was a crushing blow. Well, you know, it doesn't matter how you win, it matters if you win, because the record books will show that the winners of this match are the team of Real Hazard, Genki Horiguchi and Rio Saito. Pick up the victory for Real Hazard and pick up the first win for Dragon Gate over Team UK. Indeed they do. Marty Skrull and Johnny Storm in the ring of absolutely nothing to be ashamed about. Fantastic performance here.